Okay, people. So if you're going to buy some earbuds or headphones in 2022, there is no reason why they do not come with an app. And at the same time as you're watching this video, I also just posted the full review video for these Neil Buds Pro. And with that being said, this video is strictly about the Edifier Connect app featuring these Neil Buds Pro. So if you're interested, stick around. Let's talk about this for a second. Want to see some love? It's love day. I'm sure people love out here on the court. What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. So in my video of these Neo Buds Pro, I quickly went through the app. I didn't go through it in complete detail. I'll put that YouTube card right here. But this video goes into complete detail of this Edifier Connect app that you see right here. So I already connect these to my mobile device. And as soon as you click on the icon, this is what you'll see right here. I do have the Neil Bud series and I just realized that my earbuds are connected to my phone over here. But I'll reconnect them to this phone for this video right here. So I do have the Neil Bud series. So I'm going to click on that right there. And then it brings up the Neil Buds Pro and the Neil Buds S. I I do have the Neil Buds Pro right here, as you already know. So let me go ahead and hook these back up to this mobile device and come back and talk about this app in full detail. And this is the main screen that you'll get once you get past that first splash screen of all the different options that you have. And as you can see right here, on the top right, you do have this gear icon and this gear icon goes through multiple things you have your tap settings disconnect bluetooth repair factory settings user manual power off tap sensitivity so underneath this tap settings right here you do have double tap and triple tap now one thing i do like about that these just offer double tap and triple tap and not your single tap with your double tap you will not get any accidental touches well you won't get as many accidental touches having a single tap not on here does take away some options but anyways let me get back to the app as you can see at the very top it it shows your left and right so this is on the left one and that will be on the right one and as you can see under double tap you have play pause volume up previous track next track game mode voice assistant mode selection and mode selection is to do with your ANC modes and then also you have triple tap again you have play pause volume up previous track next track game mode voice assistant in mode selection same exact ones um, and you can just customize it exactly how you want it. On the right one, it's the same exact things. And how I have it set up is a double tap on the right one will play a part of my music. A triple tap will go to the next track. And on the left one, a double tap will change between the A and C modes. And then a triple tap will go to your previous track. That's how I have it set up. But I do like that Edifier does give you all of these options to choose between button functions. Maybe there could have been like a hold so that you can have another option in here, like a press and hold, but maybe that can be upgraded with a software push. Anyways, um, disconnect Bluetooth. If I click on that, it's self-explanatory. I do not want to disconnect my Bluetooth. Repair right here. Click confirm to allow product to enter pairing mode. I do not want that. Uh, factory settings restore back to factory settings. This is your user manual. You click inside this user manual, it'll bring up everything that's inside of this box. I don't wanna do that right now. Power off, self-explanatory, and then tap sensitivity. So you have an option to go all the way from zero, which is low, and all the way up to 31, which is high. I'll just keep that in the middle. I do not want it to be too sensitive. I liked it exactly how it is. Hit confirm. And then also at the very top, again, you can change the name of these earbuds. So you have Edifier Neo Buds Pro. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it just like that. And then you also have your reviews. Write reviews to better improve our products and services. Kindly hope you write reviews on the app. Your valuable feedback will greatly drive us to make the app more user-friendly. And that is that the settings tab right there and then you also have at the in the middle you have your edifier your left and your right shows your battery percentage your offline when it says offline that means that these are in the case and they are actually charging so let me go ahead and try to see exactly how this works when i was testing this out before it was kind of finicky in my opinion i would take these out the music would stop but then the app will cut off. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this to work right here on camera in front of you guys. Most likely it probably won't, but we'll see what happens. Oh, there you go. So as you can see, I took them out of my ears. That power bar on for, for the case 
automatically went up to 92%. Sorry, Edifier, that's my bad. The app is working as advertised. It didn't earlier, but it is now. And then, as you can see right now, you do have your different noise canceling modes, ambient mode, and normal mode. So you have high noise, high noise canceling, low noise canceling, ambient sound, and normal mode. If you swipe over to the left, this is where you'll get your equalizer. So you have your classic equalizer, dynamic equalizer, you have customized, and underneath this customized, if you hit it twice, it will go to where you can actually customize it so you can mess with uh, the various highs, mids, and lows right here. And then if you want to, you can hit plus and then you could do a new customized setting. Now you can bounce through each customization mode that you set. And so if you're like listening to a podcast, you want it to sound just more voice enhanced, you just set that there. You can name that podcast. Um, if you want to watch movies or stuff like that and you want it to be, a, I don't know, a more dynamic sound, you can make your customization slot number two set to that and then so on and so forth. Whether you want to customize it to a certain type of music, certain genres in that music, everything is right here. Underneath here, it says Q Factor at the very bottom. Click on Q Factor. Feel free to pause that so you can see what that means. And then you also have your frequency down here. You can also pause it as well. Check that out. Um, you have your 100 hertz, 2000 hertz, 4000 hertz, 8000 hertz at the bottom. And I think, I don't think you can adjust. Oh, you can adjust that. Okay, so you can adjust that to exactly how you want it in the, the hertz frequency, which is very dope. So you can adjust all of those at the bottom. Make this sound tailored to exactly how you want it. Um, if I click on more, you can share your customized settings, reset, rename, and delete. And so that is everything underneath the equalizer tab and then slide over to left again this is where you have your game mode and underneath your game mode you can have the game mode on or have it off i know that when i was testing these out the game mode whether it was on or off i didn't notice any lag whatsoever and that's pretty much it for the main tabs right here and at the very bottom you do have um if you click on that it shows you exactly what you're playing now this title now this album art in the background i added that so if you click on the far left icon right here it looks like a picture it says select wallpaper from album re resume default background so as you can see i selected this to put butterfly kendrick lamar if i went to resume default background this is exactly how default background will look like and that's cool i guess I like my background better. And you also have your mall down here. Your mall will take you to other Edifier products right here. You have over the ear headphones, more earbuds, back to school stuff. And I don't know, the marketing seems to be a little bit old. Hi-Fi Res, it's just a online mall, like it says. Hit this circle button at the top right to take you back. You also have Discover. And then Discover, I wanna say this is just like new products. So you have um what's coming up what's already out and it looks like this is another way to look at new products from edifier and then mine it shows customized tuning which is uh your eq device support um it goes back to your main splash screen with all the different devices add widget which is really dope you can add one of these widgets to your home screen right now as you can see this is just strictly for ios if i were to use my google pixel 6 it probably would have widgets for that as well but i'm not 100 percent sure about that but on android and ios the apps are very very similar and you also got frequently asked questions and about us and that is it for the app the app is not the best it's not bad at all don't get me wrong but there's other apps out there that i've used that just have an overall better user experience or they just have more options to choose from inside of the apps all of that can be added or this app can definitely be built upon with more software pushes so i'm not worried about that it has the basic stuff in here like your customizable eq in here and you also have the ability to adjust your touch function so bottom line that's pretty much what you need all that other stuff is just icing on the cake just bells and whistles to the app if it offers more that's great but at the basic minimum you want to have those two things inside of an app i can't complain about this app whatsoever and people that's all i got for you that is my very quick run through of the edifier connect app featuring these edifier neo bud pro earbuds as always if this is your first time here or if you found any value in this video whatsoever go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget hit that bell icon so you get notification on when i drop my next tech video as always thank you for stopping by the tech love channel my name is nicholas and i'm out peace